James, we're stood in front of the BNE 65M YY, brand new machine to Citizen. Tell me all about it. Yeah, so it's uh, in addition to the BNE range. First, we had the BNE 51 MSY, and this is an adaptation of that. So, like the BNE MSY, we can still have that functions of doing that superimposed machining, uh, fast and easy to use control panel, those big heavy box sideways which dampen those vibrations so we can take those big cuts. Definitely. So, brand new to the range. What are the differences between this one and then obviously your latest edition? Mm. So, the, the main difference is, as you can see from the name, is 65mm bar capacity. Um, it's now a twin Y-axis machine. Uh, visually, as you can see, we've got the new control, so it's got a large touchscreen control and, and the window, which is, well, it's, it's massive. Yeah, now. definitely. And that's a huge addition to have a yeah. huge window because sometimes you have to look in yeah. to the machine to see what's going on. So I just heard why, why, two Y axis on both the turrets. So tell me why you've done that. Well, we wanted to give customers the option to have complete flexibility over their process. So not only can we do pinch milling, but we can do differential milling or drilling. So we can. Uh, mill or drill two different features on opposed sides of the component. So that's a huge advantage for mm. someone who's looking to buy the Citizen machine. So you've got more adaptation, adaptations of yeah. your machine. So I see new controls. How is that user friendly to your customers? Well, it's, it's now a touch screen control and the, the, obviously the screen's a lot larger. It's got an advanced human machine interface so for operator ease of use. There's a lot of help inside the control, so it might seem unnerving to some, but like our complete Citizen and Miana range can be programmed with ease using our CNC wizard. Fantastic. So also, you mentioned 65 bar capacity. Um, why have you done that for your customers? Well, I mean, we listen to what our customers say and we feed that back to Japan. Customers wanted increased bar capacity in our faster machine range. You know, it's, it's very tough out there at the moment, it's very competitive. Customers have a lot of pressure to reduce costs and lead times, and that's when the B&E's versatility comes into play. Having that x-axis on the subspindle means we can do that superimposed machining. So the machine actually mimics a free turret machine. That's fantastic, and obviously you said listening to your customers, they'll be amazed that mm. you've managed to do this. So, in rotation to the Miano standards, mm. how does this keep up? Uh, I think we've even surpassed our own standards, to be honest with you. I mean, this machine in particular has over 100 hours of hand scraping just on the slideways. OK, you know? so that's, I know from being an engineer, that is huge to keep up with. And having that handcraft mm. in the machine is a huge advantage. So, James, I'm sure it doesn't stop there. So talk to us about some uh, new releases and the differences it has. Yeah, so the, the B&E is a very popular range. And it will have a sister machine called the B&E 65 MSB. Uh, the difference is being it will have a full B-axis functionality to it, which is, has full 360 degrees of rotation, uh, which will be released soon. So there you have it from James from Citizen, the BNE65MYY coming to you at Citizen Live.